Hey guys, welcome to your fourth AWS, or really just any uh, VPS web server uh, tutorial. Uh, where we left off, showing you guys how to do, you know, run some of your Python scripts. But now, uh, what I want to do is show you the cron tab, and then probably in the coming videos, show you how to run those Python scripts. Um, one, run them, run them simultaneously uh, in the background, and then also finally run them without hanging up when you log out your user. So with that, uh, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we want to show you is the cron tab. The idea of the cron tab is to run scheduled jobs. It's or you could call it. Most people call them cron jobs, right? Um, so we're going to go into the cron tab again. You can get in there either with uh, just a simple cron tab dash e, and you can use the default editor, or you can just chain or uh, specify that your editor you want is nano, and we want to enter the cron tab with the intention to edit it. So here's our cron tab. It's totally empty. So how do we even set up a cron? Well, each cron will be on each line, for one. And to set up a cron, uh, the default is just five asterisks separated by a space. Uh, and each asterisk has a meaning to it. So this first star represents uh, minutes. So you can give it a value of 0 to 59. The second star represents hours, again, 0 to 23. The next star represents the uh, day of the month, so 1 to 31. The next star is going to represent the actual month, and this is going to be a 1 to a 12. Don't confuse that with a 0 to an 11, because the other ones were giving us 0 ideas. Uh, subsequently, you then have uh, day of the week. So this is going to be, again, a 0 to a 6. So kind of confusing the way that they uh, force you to do that, but uh, that's how it's done. Now, the next thing is, like, say, okay, this is our minute. Uh, so if we say, and then you basically put your parameter on the other side of it, right? So let's say you wanted to run everything at the half hour. You would just do this. You would put it, you know, you've got the star there and the 30, right? And I'm not quite sure. I guess it's because it got highlighted. Anyway, star 30, that will run this cron that doesn't, there's no, 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 specifications here but that would run this every uh, half every hour at the 30 so this will run every hour at the 30 minutes after the hour right if you wanted to run a cron every 30 minutes it would do a slash 30 and that will run it every 30 minutes conversely you could do something like this and run the cron every three minutes or if you did this it would run the cron uh, at every third minute after the hour. So let's say we want to leave it as every uh, every one minute we wanted to run this cron. Um, same thing goes for all of these. So like if you wanted to run a cron uh, at one every day, that's how you would do it. Subsequently, if you wanted to run it every one hours, you would do it this way. Although this full cron is really every one hour and one minute the cron will run. Now, in our case, since we're mostly interested in doing uh, Python scripts, you're going to want to proceed this uh, the script with what you want to run it with. Now, you can either do it this way, like user, uh, bin, and Python, right? Because that's Python's location here. Uh, but you can kind of, you can always treat these things, at least from what I found, you can always treat them just like it's at the line itself. So you can most likely call Python and then the script. So we could say example.py, right? Uh, and it will run this script at every one minute and one hour. Now, I'm going to go over here and uh, actually we'll probably come in here and, and redo it since this file doesn't exist. We'll go ahead and create the file. Um, so that'll be the first thing we do. So I'm going to go ahead and exit out of here and I'm just going to say no to not save the changes. Uh, so now let's cd back a couple of directories and let's make sure we're there. And now we want to cd into bin. And if we list out everything that's in, um, let's see, hold on, I don't think this is what I wanted. Uh, no. So CD, uh, LS, what we really wanted was first uh, user, yeah, so CD into user, or USR, I'm not sure that stands for user, but that's what I say. Uh, and then CD into bin, LS. And now you should see here's where uh, Python is, and you've even got Python 26 and 2.6 and all that. 
So, um, anyway, uh, CD back out again, CD home slash, I think we're EC2 dash user, right? Uh, user. Okay, so we have nothing here, so let's go ahead and make our example pi uh, file. So let's go nano. Um, I guess we'll do running one dot pi first, and we're gonna go ahead and import time, and then we're gonna make our function, and this is just gonna be uh, print test one. Uh, then it's gonna sleep for one second. Then it's gonna go ahead and call that function. Exit, save, yes, good. Now, I want to make a second version of this file so I can show you guys like simultaneous running. So we could either redo this or we can use a function that I didn't teach you guys yet and that's copy. So to copy something, you do CP. What do you want to copy? Well, we want to copy running1.py. And then what do you want to copy it to? In this case, I want to copy it to running2.py, right? So you do that. It's copied. We can ls and we can see, okay, yeah, we've got, we've got them both running at the moment. Now, um, just for kicks, I want to see uh, if I can do uh, user bin python running one dot pi. Yeah, okay. So, so you should be able to, um, and we should probably make these loop as well. Uh, anyway, so you can either put out the full path, like this will accept the full path, right? Or you could just straight say python. Um, and that's for that for that cron. So you can give the pull path like sometimes you might need to, um, but yeah, you can usually treat that cron. It's it's like it's it's like you're using that user. So each user is going to have his own little cron tab, right? Um, so as long as he's got the permissions to run it, it'll run just like it's he's typing in the line. Anyway, um, I guess what we'll do is we'll, we'll quickly edit these. Um, these files here, at least, yeah, so let's do uh, nano running one.py, and we're going to just throw this in a uh, while true loop here. Cool. And nano running two.py, while true, come down. Shift that over. X, yes, save. Oh, and I don't think it. I guess, yeah, we put the sleeper in the function. Uh, so now when we go Python running 1.py, it's going to run that script. But if you'll see, the only way we can, like, if we tried any, as hard as we could, Python, or actually, sorry, we want to do, uh, yeah, Python running 2.py. You obviously, you just can't get it in there, right? So you'd have to, cl you know, keyboard interrupt this script, and then you would have to call Python running 2.py, and that's all fine and dandy, and oh, we need to make Python run into uh, nano running 2.py. We want to have this one say uh, test2, so we can identify what's running. Okay. Uh, so anyway, uh, so that was just the cron tab basics. We made these two files that we want, want to run simultaneously, and we see that we're having quite the hard time doing it. So in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can get them to actually run simultaneously. Uh, so anyway, stay tuned for that video. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for the support and the subscriptions, and until next time.